Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca and this video I'm going to be covering seven healthy and delicious grain-free kid-friendly meals. And in the middle of the week we had to prep for Hurricane Ian so I did a couple hauls for that specifically but thankfully we live on the southeast side of Florida near Fort Lauderdale so we only had tropical storm like weather and tornado warnings. And if you can't tell from my voice, I am recovering. The whole family got sick in the middle of that. So anyways, this first meal I made was dill and lemon salmon on salad. It was absolutely delicious. The girls loved it. I also made some buffalo cauliflower. I made some plain for the girls as well. That's Nicholas's salad. He loves blue cheese. And yeah, Layla really loved the salad. Mm -hmm. I did some uh, balsamic dressing for her that she loved. And the second night I made um, vegetable curry. It's super easy and delicious. I used canned uh, coconut cream and there's I chopped up all the veggies. There's also some chickpeas in there, broccoli, spinach, and then I made some scallops, which is one of the first times I've made scallops. They were super easy to make. And there's some steamed broccoli for Kingsley. And there it is, all plated up. I added some avocado. Uh, Layla really loved it as well. <laughs> she tried scallops for the first time. It was a hit. And for Kingsley, I gave her some broccoli and avocado. And then the third night, we had some chicken sausage that Nick had picked up that he wanted and some peppers and onions. Personally, I don't love chicken sausage, um, so he ate the majority of that. I made some chicken tenders that came out delicious. Those are one of my favorites. And there's Kingsley's without the seasoning on it. Um, so that was a great meal. And okay, so life update. We are at Costco and apparently there's a hurricane coming and yeah, we didn't realize it. So we came to get water and of course they're out, but that's okay. We will find some. Uh, we got some paper towels and some beef sticks, of course. So we'll see what else we're gonna get. Right, Layla? And I'm a Floridian, we're used to this. We, we know the drill, so. Okay, so we just left Costco. It was crazy. It was so hard to find parking. It took like, I don't know, 30 minutes to find parking. And it was a mess in there. Everyone had this heightened sense of panic. So just trying to stay calm. Yeah. We got a few things. Um, some, there was no water, but I'll show you what we did get. I got some avocados, maple syrup, some bananas, some coconut water, spindrift. Uh, some grain-free cookies. Those are my favorite, the wedding ones. Some Vital Collagens, they were on sale. And we tried these in store, they were really good. So we got some of those for a sweet tooth. We got some hemp hearts, because we were out of that. And some beef sticks, of course. And these guys. For me. And of course, some uh, these are toilet, for me. toilet paper. And thankfully, Nicholas was able to find some water after the fifth store that he went to. And then this is my random shelf stable haul, hurricane haul that I got at Whole Foods. I just got some grain-free bars, some of these bison epic um, beef sticks that I love, and then some different baby food for Kingsley to try. I got some different brands to see what she likes. And then I got some Siete black beans that were on sale and some other random cans of beans. I already have a good stock on hand of beans and uh, tuna. And then I got some baby puffs and of course my churro chips because they are on sale. So I grabbed those. And then I made on the night before the hurricane 
uh, some steaks that I had to make because they were defrosted. That was a ribeye and two fillets, and these were bacon Brussels sprouts. They came out phenomenal. I made them in the air fryer, so good. I did unfortunately overcook the steak because I made them in the Ninja, and I always tend to overcook the steaks in there. I don't know. I make steaks best on the cast iron on the stove or in the oven. Um, Kingsley's were good temperature though, and I gave them some fruit as well. Okay, and by day five, the entire family is sick, so I'm just spicing up our traditional green smoothie. I threw in some fresh ginger and turmeric, some mango, pineapple, papaya, cucumber, kale, collagen powder, and some black pepper, just a little bit of it. It helps activate the turmeric um, bioavailability in your body by 20 fold. So it's a little trick. Definitely try this smoothie. It was so refreshing and delicious. Perfect for when you're sick. I don't know why, I don't know. And there's Kingsley gnawing on some cold cucumber because she's teething as well. Oh yeah, that's gonna make us better. And then these are all the supplements I'm giving to Layla on top of her um, Mary Ruth's gummy and her seed probiotics. And for meal six, I got creative. I made some refried black beans, ground beef, grilled onions, beet sauerkraut, avocado, and cheese on mine on siete cassava tortillas. They were delicious. Take a nap. Okay. Okay, so chicken noodle soup is done. And I have to just put some of this uh, parsley and lemon in there. All right, put all that in. Squeeze. Just squeeze all that lemonade. Okay, next one. You got it? Squeeze. Nice job. Chicken and vegetable soup. Okay, well, I guess Kingsley wanted to join the party because she's not feeling good either. She wanted to come say hi in a cute little jammies. So we're going to open up this soup. Guga. Sissy. You love Sissy? Oh, she loves you too. You like that lemon? Um, I'm gonna get a bowl, okay? You wanna put some in your bowl? Yeah. Okay. Have some chicken in mine? Yes. Perfect. There you go. Right, that's good. Let's test it out, okay? Okay. Can you blow on mine? <laughs> Yeah, let it cool down. Oh, it's really, really good. So earlier I had to throw everything in uh, real fast. So all that I put in here was some organic chicken breasts. Looks like that. That I actually picked up from all these because I didn't have them defrosted. And I put it, I threw in the whole baby carrots in just like this. Uh, they're easy to cut up for Layla and then for Kingsley, they're the perfect size. <laughs> And then I cut up some onions and some potatoes and some celery. And I had some chopped up uh, bell peppers already that I threw in there too. And then I used some uh, 32 ounces of the kettle on fire chicken bone broth. And then I topped it off with, I think, uh, about two more cups of water on top of that. And... And then I used some of our thyme herbs that I have over there on the window. Oh, it cools down when I stir it up. Oh yeah, it cools down when you stir it up. I used some of the thyme that was on the windowsill mm -hmm. and three bay, bay leaves and five uh, whole garlic cloves. Mickey. And five whole garlic cloves that I uh, minced up in there too. Mm -hmm. And that's it, super easy. Perfect for when you're sick. You I'll ask for this. I'll ask for more of this in a, in a minute. You like it? Yes. Okay. I'll ask for more in a minute. All right, everyone. Well, we're going to finish our chicken and veggie soup and try to get everyone to bed and get some sleep and recover. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Peace out. Peace out.